Hey losers, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a spoiler free review of a new release. This is The Haunting of Velkwood by Gwendolyn Keist. This comes out in March 2024. This is a horror novel that's like a ghost story and like, like a haunted neighborhood story kind of. And this takes place 20 years after this strange event happens where this neighborhood is like enveloped by this strange mist that is impenetrable but one person has gone in before and come back out and they think that there might be two other people who could possibly do this um, and those three people are all young women who lived in that neighborhood at the time of the event, but were not in the neighborhood at the time of the event. Everybody else who lived there and were there at the time of this event, I'm just going to keep referring to it as the event, right? The Velkwood incident. They have never been seen or heard from again. They are just, who knows what happens to them? Who? Nobody knows what happened. They're just, disappeared. So obviously this leaves a lot of questions for everybody involved. A lot of questions for the survivors of this who were college staged at the time and now are in their 40s. Um, the main character Talitha, she really has avoided it like at all costs but now she has been approached by yet again another like documentary type person, right? And he's like, oh, we have these scientists doing this thing. And he offers her um, money, which this isn't anything new. However, he says that they have flown a drone in there. And this time they got a picture. And the picture is a photograph of her little sister, ageless, still at the same age that she was the day that the Velkwood incident happened, peering out the window of Talitha's old home. And that's when Talitha is like, ah, oh, shit, I have to go back if I can. Um, so at this point, Talitha, you know, decides that maybe it's time she confronts the past and this incident because maybe Talitha knows exactly why this strange mist has enveloped the entire neighborhood. So this is like a book about like friendship and growing up. It's kind of like, it's almost like a coming of age story in ways. Talitha has this childhood friend, Brett, who was one of the three survivors and you kind of get to see whether or not they, you know, kind of rekindle this relationship that they had, which I really enjoyed seeing like whether or not that was going to happen. Um, it's really like tumultuous and you're like, well, like why, like what's going on here? Like why, why would this not? And like what happened? It's really mysterious. And just the incident itself, I was dying to know what is going on in this neighborhood. Like when Talitha walks in there, is this just a time loop? Are people aging? What's going on? So um, I, I thought that was all very, very interesting. And I ended up liking this. Um, it came to a good conclusion. It, it, was really, it was really strange. One thing I will say, I feel like the mechanics of this big thing maybe weren't explained as well as I wanted it to be. But it's a supernatural book, right? Um, maybe there doesn't have to be like really uh, any explanation, I guess, to it. But, um, you know, it's okay. M my mind wants to be logical and analytical about it, but sometimes it's just not, not how it works, I guess. Um, but this was, like I said, like a, like a ghosty, almost haunted house book. Um, there, is one part that really, really creeped me out about some things that might have followed them. 
um, from the neighborhood and things like that. It's very creepy. Um, I got like, ugh, I got like nighttime reading, horrible reading goosebumps, which doesn't happen to me very often. I was thinking about it like, oh, when is the last time that's happened to me? Ugh. I love it, but also creepy, so creepy. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. I would definitely recommend picking this up. This is my first time reading Gwendolyn Keist's books, but um, it won't be my last. I have actually one of her books on my shelf and I'm, I think probably I'll have to pick it up. March is Women in Horror Month. So what a better time to pick it up than now. There's no better time. So um, that is Haunting of Velkwood. Let me know if I've convinced you to pick it up. Uh, it was short and sweet, um, about 250 pages. I read it in maybe like three sittings. It was really excellent and I would really recommend it. That's all I have for you today though. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye.